everybody this is Randy from Randy's Crafty Creations uh, I know it's been a couple weeks since I filmed a video uh, <clears throat> we are on summer vacation um, here in Maryland and I've been spending time with my kids and less time in my craft room less time filming but uh, two have already started school again one more has to start in a couple weeks so I will get back to my regular filming schedule of once a week um, as soon as that happens but you know you only get you only get one one chance for this time and so I enjoy spending time with them and um, so anyhow <clears throat> let's go ahead and get started and today's video I want to show you some of our new fall product that's coming out in our new um, holiday catalog I know we just launched our annual catalog back in June but this is our holiday one I can't show you the inside yet it doesn't go live till September 1st but I have been playing with some of the goodies in here and I wanted to share those with you so today we're gonna to be working on this card and as you see, it's a coffee cup, right? And it's got the, the leaves and uh, talks about pumpkin spice latte. So inside this catalog, and I can show you this because I own it, is the companion set. So our annual catalog, we had Coffee Cafe. Here's the companion set in the holiday catalog. It's called Merry Cafe. So you get a uh, different coffee cup. So this one is more solid. This one is a more sketched version, um, but you get Fall sayings, pumpkin spice, apple cider, Christmas cheer, here's for Halloween, which is brew. Um, and here's a little stamp for this smaller coffee cup. Now, I don't know if you remember in a previous video, when I showed these dies, there was this little coffee cup one, and that's to cut the coffee cup out of the designer series paper. Well, it's also to cut the coffee cup here. So now we have a stamp that matches that, which is really cute. Anyhow, these dies totally coordinate with the stamp set, and that's how I made this card, which I'm going to show you how to make. Um, it's also photopolymer, so you can see through it. We're going to be using the Hello Fall. It's pumpkin spice latte season, and we're going to be using this cute little leaf here, along with our colors of garden green and pumpkin pie, because they work with with this paper. Now this paper I absolutely love. This paper is our designer series paper. Okay, and it's called Painted Harvest, right? Painted Autumn, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Painted Autumn. And the colors in here are just yummy for fall. You look at them. It's pumpkin pie, garden green, um, Cajun craze. There's some crushed curry. So pretty. I used, I used this whole pack. Let me look through the little scraps down here. I used this whole pack, and I'll show you what I used it on in just a second. Um, so that's the back side of one, and the front side is the pumpkins. And then we've got this side, and then that side. And this was all hand-painted by the artist that made the paper. Look at the sunflower piece. Isn't that pretty? And then the back side is that. Um, it's got the yellow and some acorns. Acorns. Isn't that just pretty, pretty paper, though? I love this paper. Anyhow, I sat the other day. I sent my my oldest off to, to college. She moved into her dorm, and so I had that nervous energy the first night. And I sat and made um, many <laughs> uh, for several swaps of this card and basically used up that almost that entire paper pack. So made that one and that one and this one and we're going to complete our set of four and we're going to make one together and we're making the one with the, the sunflower and I'll give you the sizes here in just a minute um, and I was making these cute little gift packs now we are starting in the new holiday catalog we are starting to sell these acetate boxes oh my goodness I'm so excited I love them and they're thick um, they come in a pack of 10. They're the acetate card boxes, and they come nice and flat for you, so they're easy to store. But they are nice and thick. I think you'll be excited once you get them. Um, I was making other gift sets, too. So uh, this is going to be a class coming up in September. Uh, but this is one of our other new stamp sets, Painted Harvest. And it's got that beautiful sunflower. But I made the box card set and made a belly band for it. And it's so nice and thick. Anybody's going to love getting these as a gift. Uh, I'm making up a bunch of these. We do a fundraiser 
in my area and I'm making up a bunch of these to uh, be donated to go into our, our bags and our prizes and such for our fundraiser. So it's a nice four pack of cards. It says you can get six cards in here with envelopes and you probably can. Mine have uh, lots of dimensionals on them. So I was able to get four and then I put in uh, one extra one as as the greeting card for giving this box. So I got, sorry about that. Uh, my my iPad died. I had to grab, go grab my charger. I thought it was charged. So I apologize. Anyhow, well, let's go ahead and get started finishing up this pack. So I'm going to move these guys over here. Okay, and um, my coffee cafe bundle I used to cut out my coffee cup. And I already have one cut out and ready to stamp on. <clears throat> so I'll show you that. Um, I also went on a binge the other day. <clears throat> Again, same day. So because it has the holiday sayings in here, I went ahead and I went die cut crazy. And I sat and cut all of these coffee cups. Whoop out of some of the holiday DSP. Isn't this pretty? So I now have a ton of coffee cups ready, coffee cups and lids, all ready to go for some holiday crafting. Um, yes, I love coffee. I love hot chocolate. Anyhow, I have my little baggie of parts here. And this is one of the coffee cards that I made. Isn't that cute? Using the design of Sears paper. So you don't necessarily have to stamp on it. Um, you can just go ahead and cut it out with the dies and put it together. It's really cute. So anyhow, I'm very excited for this set. Very excited for these cards. So let's go ahead and get started. Let me get my stamp and pierce mat because I'm using a photopolymer set. Okay. Our card base is a piece of eight and a half by 11, cut in half, scored at four and a quarter so that our card is um, four and a quarter by five and a half. We have our one layer of designer series paper which is four by five and a quarter that will layer on top. I cut my oval with our stitched oval dies. Um, <clears throat> these things are great. I use them on a lot of things. Our stitch shapes, we have oval circles and squares. They all come together in one pack. I'll have the item number list listed below. Uh, they're great. I use them all the time. And you can run through your big shot, two pieces of cardstock and get the stitching on both sides. So you can go ahead and cut two at a time, which is, helpful when you binge like me. Anyhow, um, here's our coffee cup. It's stamped and cut out on the Big Shot. All right, but I'm gonna go ahead and stamp another one for you now so that you can see. Let me grab a piece of Whisper White. I use my scraps, I keep them handy. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stamp the coffee cup actually that's in this set. And you would do them the same way. All right, so I'm going to get my D block for my coffee cup. Now, for your coffee cup, it's a flimsy stamp. So if you lay it down on your stamp and pierce mat and then pick it up with the block, it'll hold its true form, and we know that it'll work with the die. Okay, and let's go ahead and put the lid down and pick that up. All right, so we're going to decorate the one I already cut, but I want to stamp this one for you. All right, so I'm going to stamp it in our basic black. And right on top of the stamp and pierce mat, and it's going to give us a nice impression. Okay, so that's the coffee cup that comes in uh, Mary Cafe. So it's a little bit different. It doesn't have the, excuse my arms, it doesn't have the super sharp lines. It has more of the sketch look, so it's nice to have the two different kinds of coffee cups. Uh, same thing with the lid. The lid's a little different too. Let me show you. It's got that sketched look. Let's stamp that on there. So this lid in the original bundle fills in our color. This one outlines our color. So that'd be nice to just do a, a plain white lid and give it the outlines. So um, anyhow, that's that. <clears throat> and then I would take this and I would run it through my Big Shot with the coordinating dies. And I would end up with these pieces right here. Okay, so there's my cup. Now I'm not going to put a cup koozie on there because I'm going to stamp my sentiment. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp that first using my pumpkin pie and it's photopolymer so just go ahead and tap 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 oh. line up where you think you might want it we'll put mine right about there there we go all right easy 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 let's go ahead and put that one away 
and get out our garden green. So I was playing with the garden garden green, old olive. They'll both go with this um, paper. And I'm just going to stamp my little leaf on there. Turn my stamp around. Stamp it again. And on this one, I'm just going to put another one up here. Why not? Right? Fall, we got fall leaves. All right, so I'll go ahead and close that. Get some of my snail adhesive here. I'm going to put it on the back of my lid. All right, and I'm going to pick my cup up. And I'm going to line it up on the rim here. There. So now we have our cup and our lid. Okay, I'm going to grab some dimensionals. I'm going to flip them over on the back because I'm going to pop it up on my oval. And then we'll put this together. So see, short and quick and easy. I know my video was longer, but that's because I wanted to explain a few things. But real easy to make these cards. Let's go ahead and flip that over. Use some of our snail. Put it on, oh, I'm sorry, our background, I use chocolate chip. You can use chocolate chip, early espresso, garden green, pumpkin pie, Cajun craze. It all goes. I love, love, love the colors in this paper. Okay? I'm going to go ahead and pop that up, too. And I'm going to use four dimensionals. I'm going to go one, two, three, and four. All right. Go ahead and put this guy on there. All right, I'm going to put that on right in the middle. Okay, let me go ahead and take the backings off of these guys. I love our dimensionals. They're a great height. Not too tall, not too short. And hold oh fall. And now I have the last piece in my gift set. Isn't that cute? So we can go ahead and we can put that in a box. So if I grab my little acetate box. <clears throat> okay. And it's, like I said, it's nice and thick. So I'm just going to give, I'm just going to op open it and give the other side a nice good crease. My tabs. because when I fold it shut, I want it to hold. Nice. Love these. I can tell that I'm going to get a bunch of them when the catalog goes live because I have lots of gift pack ideas. Do it. I used to do these um, when my kids were in elementary school, but with the cello bags, more like this, um, as teacher gifts, which was great for all occasions. Um, but anyhow, I'm excited for the boxes because I'll do that probably more often. So I would get my four cards. I'd get my four envelopes. I would stick them in here. I would make a belly band. And to make your belly band, if you just take a piece of eight and a half by 11 cardstock and cut a piece, however thick you want, off of the long side of your cardstock, it'll wrap around the box, which is perfect. And then like I did on this one, I just added a little bit of twine and another sunflower and perfect. So again, thank you. Um, you can buy all these products. All the links will be below. You can buy them all on my Stampin' Up! page, randycollins.stampinup.net. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to email randycollins.247 at gmail.com and I'll be happy to help you. So again, I'm Randy from Randy's Crafty Creations. Thanks for watching and have a great day.